Hey everybody, it's Bruno, Bravo 4 from Utah, wishing you a happy New Year's and hope you're having a great time at the contest. Check out this sunset behind me. Happy New Year, Bruno. You come and see us next year. <laughs> <laughs> This is the task sheet for today. The most important thing is um, we get bonus points for reaching some of these turn points here. And then we will get one point per kilometer for the free FAA triangle distance. Hey guys, welcome back. At the beginning of a competition flight it's very important to get a feeling about the thermals, about the weather of the day, how good the climb rates are, the wind speed and also where to find the thermals and position to the cloud. So yeah, you should take a little bit more time at the beginning and slow a little bit down and then um, get this feeling of the day and then you can go faster and fly your task. That was an easy exercise today to get to the coast. I've never expected that it would be only one cloud street straight ahead against the wind and I'm there. But that's nice and it looks so beautiful today. Do you see these nice waves over there? Looks like awesome conditions also to surf. Also when not thermaling it's very important to have a proper look at the clouds. Um, you can use them also for the trade flight to enhance your glide ratio. Let's try these clouds here above the ocean. I'm not sure if they will get me some lift, but that would be fun. Just make a little bit out there. That's a little bit scary when you only see blue water around you. <laughs> wow. So there's not really a lift, but less thing. So, yeah. Can't travel here. I think that's my first turn point. So somehow it would be nice if the ridge is working, otherwise I have a serious problem. But we had a lot of wind. Nope. So let's fly to the ridge over there and then to perhaps this cloud over there. Whew. It's getting hot. Wait, wait, wait. Let's recap which type of lift I need to get back up again. Thermals are columns of rising air that are formed on ground through the warming of the surface heated by the sun. So this does not work above the ocean where the surface is only water. The second method to gain altitude is with the ridge lift at the cliffs. Ridge lifts are generated when the wind blows against the cliffs and causing the air to rise. With a strong wind in the correct direction I would be able to climb to a higher altitude and glide to the thermals into the midland. But finding thermals directly at this coast can be really challenging. So if this does not work, I will need to land at this beach over there. Yeah, 
Yeah, in the last couple of minutes I've tried so many different options here at the ridge, but nothing works. So I really need to get a thermal, even if it's a very weak one. It's important to, to get a little bit more into the inland and then let's hope that the thermals will get stronger and I will get up to the cloud base again. Now it's getting better. Wow, I don't know how long it took me, but it felt like two hours to be here. Most probably, well, only 40, 45 minutes or so. But uh, finally, uh, was not the best idea. I did not check the forecast too good. And the wind was a little bit too southerly and not strong enough for the ridge, for the coastline. But now it's getting up here. And follow the line. In the meantime I've dropped the water. So I'm empty now. But that should not be the biggest problem. The weather is good, we have some thermals over here, but the ridge should also work. Yeah, in the ground I can see that there's wind here in Exisor. I have about 33 km per hour wind speed displayed and also sky side forecasted here richly. So I will race over there, get to two turn points or bonus points and then we'll make there a nice uh, turn point for my FAA triangle and then head back north. As you can see over there we have some higher clouds so the thermos won't be as good as before over there uh, but I will need some permits so yeah most probably it will be okay it will be a little bit slower there than the end when I need some permits but yeah should be fine yeah over there you can see the the trees already that they are moving a little bit the, the wind in the leaves. Yeah, perhaps not too much. Sweet!
As you can see, the higher cirrus clouds are getting more and more, which is really not good for our thermals. But somehow I need to get to these bonus points against the wind, um, so I will try to get some cloud streets and head back to the north side on the ridge as quick as possible. The golf ball! There's a power line. At the left side you can see Thames, which has also an airfield where we have launched twice in this competition. So I already know this area and ahead of us um, there are no proper outlanding possibilities. Perhaps there are some smaller beaches, but um, yeah, not good for the material. Fortunately here I am a little bit in the lee side, the wind is more southerly and so really challenging to, to fly here in this area but the bonus point is a little bit more to the northern side and I will try to get over there and then get back up again. This right turn here looks a little bit more scary than it was because you can't see to the right side to the valley. This ridge was somehow in the wind because we have suddenly wind. I managed to get back up here a little bit and then more onto the ridge and got back up again, which was really, really challenging because of and these turbulences and so on. I'm already very exhausted from this flight. But now let's continue and try to get back home. And there are only a few clouds left and yeah, let's see. It was a long glide from the ridge to this area here, but these were the only cumulus clouds in my area which I could reach and they are directly above the sea. So yeah, I try to fly slow when there are some there's some rising air and um, I try to enhance my glide ratio as much as possible. It's very good to, um, to try to feel to the left and to the right side if there's a better climb or a better way through the sky. But um, up to now I did not get any climb which was good enough to thermal.
Wow. Now I definitely should be able to finish the task. Even if I make an out landing, I will get all the points for the bonus points and also for the FAA triangle. That was a fantastic scenic flight in New Zealand, but I'm so exhausted now, it was so challenging the whole day and I'm happy to be back on the ground again. So, see you next time, cheers!